Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Scorpio. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and do a message for Scorpio. All right, so we have the Chariot, Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, interesting. And bottom of the deck is the Hermit. Alrighty. All right. So the chariot, um, the main energy of this reading is the chariot. So I feel like you are moving forward in some way, shape or form. Some of you are actually moving. Some of you are traveling or literally a situation that um, may have been stagnant or you're waiting for the next step in is moving forward. Um, let's see what that is. Let's clarify the chariot. All right, so we have Judgment Reverse, Ten of Cups, The Hangman, Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, at the bottom of the deck. Awesome. All right. So maybe you felt like someone wasn't making a decision about something um, tied to your happiness, happiness, tied to your wish fulfillment, tied to a family situation um, with the Ten of Cups here. But the hangman is here. So I feel like as you've been patient, as you've seen, you know, like it's like you've looked into what you want and what you want in love and how you want things to move forward. And I feel like some type of intention or or decision that you've made has led you and is going to lead you to some type of new partnership or long-term commitment. I feel like for a lot of you all, it's a long-term commitment here because we have the Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Chariot. So somebody that didn't make a decision about something or they made the wrong decision, judgment reverse, or something that just you didn't necessarily like um, that they did, I feel like it's given this person time to understand that they want to move forward with you so some type of relationship or connection that you're in if you're in one is going to move to the next level and if this is not love it's some type of um, decision that you are waiting on um, somebody to make a move and make a decision and it's leading to um, ten of pentacles wealth inheritance a marriage a contract and a fresh start some of you are moving for work. Some of you, you could be at a distance from the person that you're with or in a contract with or um, somebody that you're about to be in a long-term commitment with. But whatever it is, whatever blockages that you've been waiting on um, or waiting for someone to make some type of decision on you is progressively moving forward. Um, we have the four of, four of swords here, which means gathering information. So I feel like you're going to be in a space where things may feel a little stagnant. Like they may feel like things aren't moving, if that makes sense. Like something moves forward with someone and then it's like stagnant almost. And I feel like this is giving you some time to plan your next steps. There's something tied to your money or investments, um, something that maybe you're leaving behind, you're closing out a cycle, you're rebalancing your life, some type of situation that may have taken a lot out of you. I feel like you're closing that out. So again, I feel like someone, um, someone communicates that they want to move something forward. They want to move forward with you in an interview or they want to uh, marry you, be in a contract with you, commit to you long term. And then again, it seems like, okay, this is good. This is happy. I'm happy with this. But then it's like, you know, I feel like there's like four to seven days up to three weeks of like comfort and continuing to learn this person, Four of Swords. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's like this person makes a decision to move forward or with you and want, want some way, shape, or form. What I'm getting is like, um, have you ever, I guess, what's coming to my mind is like if you started a job and they're like, okay, bet, awesome. Your start date is going, going to be in four weeks. 
I feel like that's the case. Like you're, you're walking into understanding that you're in this new job and this new partnership and this long-term commitment, or this person's committing to you or proposing to you, or you're living with this person or moving with this person, whatever the case is in three to four weeks. And then it's like, what am I going to do for the next three weeks? Well, I feel like, um, something happens like that, or you set a date with this person or, or something like that, or there's a marriage date, or there's a proposal date, or there's a, a day to start, whatever it is, you're going to have three to four weeks for a lot of you guys could be a shorter period, but you're going to have this time to pour into yourself and get yourself into like a really good, like, it's like you're nesting. You know how pregnant women nest before their baby comes and they're like, oh my gosh, I got to clean the walls and I got to clean the baseboards and I got to clean outside and I got to clean the sidewalk because their their body is like intuitively preparing. I feel like you're going to be doing all the things that you're needing to do to be prepared for this new job or this commitment that's coming towards you. Like I said, some of you guys is going to be business deals, um, contracts, and others of you all is going to be love, okay? And um, being committed to long-term or committing to something or someone long-term. Ten of Swords. I feel like as you do this, then some type of old cycle that you are in ends okay the devil's reverse any type of thing or situation or dynamic or work environment or home or whatever city that you felt stuck in or trapped in or trapped to um that cycle officially ends and i feel like um we have the emperor here Yeah, I feel like you also kind of see, let's see. Yeah, you see a situation where somebody was trying to like affect your life and affect, you know, your finances or affect your stability or whatever the case is, whatever you're moving on from um, in your path to move forward towards your future or who you're about to be with or your next job or whatever the case is, you're going to see um, this person that wanted to control something so bad. Um, you're going to kind of essentially see something in with them. Okay. Some type of cycle in with them. Yeah. Um, page of cups reverse. I feel like the dynamic that you've had with this past person that tried to control something for you or alter uh, something in your life is going to completely change. They're going to start ignoring, um, ignoring like all the past things that they were doing to bother you or to control you. Or, you know, if this was a boss or somebody you used to work with or someone you used to be with. You're like, oh, okay, this is what I want to do. And they're like, nope, you can't do this. Nope. Here's the blockage. Oh, like there's a lot of opposition. Five of swords, seven of swords, energy, the full reverse. Like this person wanted you to stay in this tax bracket or they wanted you to stay exactly where you were or you know they don't want you to move forward and I feel like you're going to kind of see that all of that negative energy from a past situation past boss past person you dated ends up kind of like dissipating ends up leaving um for you okay like completely with the ten of swords being here the bottom of the deck is the hermit so Clarifying the Hermit, what flips? We have Justice and we also have the Queen or King of Cups, your energy in this reading. So I feel like you kind of go, like I said, there's something about things for you kind of like pausing, but they're moving forward at the same time. So the Hermit is someone who goes inward, uh, someone who seeks like, guidance or there it's like you're you're literally forging things forward in your life um I feel like Virgo season like I said for a lot of Virgo season which I think Virgo season starts on like Tuesday or Wednesday but for a lot of Virgo season you're just going to be introspective you're going to be learning from your past and pouring into yourself a lot of you could be staying at home more kind of focusing on your goal focusing on your goals more and that is your justice and then some type of justice comes in um as far as you moving forward with a new contract or with a long-term partner you're being seen again as the queen or king of cups 
So you are someone who is intuitive, is caring. Um, you're someone who is emotionally mature, very sweet, very kind, very thoughtful. And so um, I feel like you're going to kind of be more connected to yourself, to your emotions, and to your intuition tied to... Um, tied to just the situation closing out for you and something brand new starting. So that is what I have for you all. I hope this was helpful. If you want to book a personal reading, feel free to check that out in the description box on my website. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and thank, thank you for hitting the like button and thank you for watching.